Beautiful. <laughs> the unmistakable sound of chorus. Hey guys, welcome to that pedal show. Dan here. Mick here. Hello. I've been really excited about the Wazacraft pedals because they've released some of my favourite boss pedals of all time. Yes, for those of you who don't know, Waza, 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 is Boss doing a kind of high-end thing, okay. but doing it in their own way, yeah, because yeah. Boss wasn't going to come out and go, we're going to do boutique pedals, and we're going to build them by some bloke in a shed. He's in... also my mate in Australia. Waza! Ah, Waza, yeah. yeah. Anyone called Warren? Or Wayno. Uh, Wayno, yeah. Yeah, could be a Waza. Or, you know, Willow. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so... Uh, <laughs> Brief, uh, yeah, yeah, brief tangent there. Hello, Waza, if you're watching. Um, yeah, so the Waza Craft pedals are a range of pedals at the at the top end of Boss's um, compact series, mm -hmm. and they do the C2, they do the vibrato, VB2. yeah, VB2. There's uh, and a super overdrive, a blues driver, a tuner, and there may be others. The tuner is that a Waza? Yeah, I'm pretty one? sure there is, is a Waza tuner. Yeah, because I do that new one that doesn't have the foot. Mm. The pedal on it, which is very cool. I've, I've, I've um, put that on a couple of boards before. And the, the reason they've done it, Dan, as we can see here, our visual history. Yeah, so we have the CE1 here, Boss's very first ever effects pedal, the chorus ensemble. We've also, um, just so you can see, the amps we're using today is the Jazz Chorus uh, and the AC30. The Jazz Chorus has the same chorus in it built in, so we're going to have a quick look and see if we can... We're going to be free, yeah. feeling very wobbly before yeah. too much longer. Yeah. So anyway, that sound um, that I was having a... If you could just turn me on for a second, Mick. I can. Oh, what's that? Ah. Oh. Ah. You like that? I do. More on that another time, perhaps. Yeah. Back to the C1, though. Um, that sound that we heard at the beginning... That's that's it. It's that sound. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It is my it between that and the and the electric mistress. My favorite it's those two, you know, tied equal first favorite pedal of all time. One thing that I've, I've loved about this pedal is when you dig in, it breaks up and it sounds sort of it can sound harsh, but it sounds so cool. I first heard uh, Jim Magini from Midnight Oil. Okay. One of these. Yep, yep, yep. Jim is one of my favourite guitar players ever. I think the guy's a genius. And uh, if you listen to that, um, that Beds Are Burning. So we got nothing happening there. That's just there's no no overdrive pedal on. That's just the C1 and the AC30. The, so we have got both and amps on both the AC30 yeah. and the jazz chorus. Yeah. Sorry if you can't see the amps. By the way, we'll do some close-ups, but um, they're kind of lower down. There's a long break between the two riffs. <laughs> so um, so when I first heard that, I just it was game over. What a great sound and. and yeah, so there's something about the sound of that pedal when you dig in. It's just very, very cool. Now, there are two sides to this. There's a vibrato side and the chorus side. The chorus side, it's got one knob. I mean, look at the size of this pedal. <laughs> so you'll hear that as I turn the, the, that knob up, it affects the depth of the chorus and the rate. So okay. So it's mild. I do love it. I, I love it. It's awesome. So you're saying that's the same chorus uh, circuitry that's in the JC120? I believe so. Okay, right. So before we get onto the other pedals, I just want to do one quick thing. Yep. Can we set this up into the AC30? Certainly. And um, what we'll do is we'll just listen to the jazz chorus fabled clean Solid state amplifier with that wonderful chorus. Okay. So a quick listen to that. Yep. And um, and then I'm just quite interested to hear the this 
the C1 into the AC30. So I'll, okay. I'll, let me, I'll, I'll, right. I'll, I'll so, twiddle, you play. Right. So this is the jazz chorus by itself. The switch on the right hand side, push it down. It's so analog, like the, the switch is like clunk. If only all switches could be like that. It's amazing. <laughs> now this is the CE1 into the AC30. I went to turn the bass up, but it's already on 10. It's on 10. Yeah, yeah. It, it, you would be a fool to decide which of those sounds you preferred because they're both spectacularly yeah. good. Mid-range character completely different in the Vox. Yeah. Okay, so I, I was just interested to hear that. I hope that was interesting. Yeah, but do you, so that jazz chorus sound, um, you know, from certainly in the 80s, it's a sound that, you know, we are, everyone's familiar with. Yeah. And it, when you hear it again like that, because chorus got a really bad, we, we did a video, um, in fact, one of the earlier videos that we did on, uh, for that pedal show, um, entitled, is chorus totally rubbish or do we love it really? <laughs> Obviously we love it really. But it got a really bad rap, didn't it? And, and people just just kind of really turned away from chorus in mm -hmm. the droves because it, it, it was all over yeah, a load of 80s music, wasn't yeah. it? And, and still, but anyway. Well, just uh, so a quick one. Yeah. For you, guys, for you guys that don't know, um, the way chorus works is you've got your original signal, and then that signal is doubled and delayed, and that delayed signal is modulated, right? So you get the the depth of that uh, of the modulation, the speed of that modulation, mm -hmm. and controlling those two things gives you the chorus. Modulated sound. in pitch. Modulated in pitch. Yeah, exactly. Well, it's, but it's actually modulated in time. Okay. So it's the time that gives you the gives pitch. you the impression of the pitch. Exactly. Right. So if you, uh, I'll just quick demonstration on how that works. If I just straight clean sound and then I turn on the, um, there it is, the delay. So I'll quickly show you how that works with a delay. Um, I'll set up a, just a slap back, but then I'm going to modulate that delay time forward yep. and back and you'll hear the note change in pitch, okay? So that's it. Very clearly hear the chorusing effect there. Exactly. So I'm moving it by a few milliseconds each way. Yeah. And that's how we get the change in pitch. Yeah. And presumably, if so, how many? I couldn't see the display there. How many milliseconds will be moving? Three or four each way. But if okay. I move it like ten each way. Yeah. And that's how you get the depth. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, the rate is how fast. Yep. So if I do that, if I do it quickly. There's the rate. Mm. So it's all done with delay. Okay. Well, I've learned something. There you go. All right. Uh, so we know how chorus works. We know that that was the, the boss, as it were, the daddy. So good. So next came... The C2. C2. Should we so, have a quick compare C1, C2? Sure. Okay, so think? yeah. So this is the C1. Yeah. 
Not quite as thick. Not quite as thick. It's more shimmery. Yeah. You know, it, it, it is a different sound. But you can see why. I mean, this is it's AC powered, completely impractical. <laughs> I mean, I'll still put it on my board because it just has a sound that, if it's a sound that you love, you know, you'll find a way to do it. Same yeah. thing with the tape delays, you know. Completely impractical, but yeah, yeah, yeah. If, it's, if it's what you do, it's great. Oh, one day we're going to have to set that up with a tape delay. <laughs> oh, yeah, we are. Oh, <laughs> so, um, yeah, but the CE2, that again is a classic sound. And what the CE2 did differently, it separated the rate and the depth. Yes. Okay, so if you play for me, I'll do a nice big depth with a slow rate. Very cool. Nice. So, so presumably if you put the rate all the way up, you get wobbly wobbly. Yeah, yeah. So. Mike Stern. Yeah, we know all about that. So, that's C1, C2. Now, the moment of truth. Just say about the C2, um, in the first edition of uh, Chorus, what we did months and months and months ago, um, we kind of noted that the, the C2 has got an EQ that's just pitched really nicely for guitars. Mm. That is quite different from a lot of other, especially digital chorus pedals, which have a much, we don't have one of those here today, but much more scoopy kind of mid-range sound, much more sparkly, shimmery. Whereas the C2 has got that thickening. Not as thick as the C1, but there's, it yeah. has a... Actually, just on, have you got any, got any overdrive there? Oh, I do. So we've got the Jan Ray. Let's, um, one, just before we move on, sorry, um, one thing that chorus can be really good for is thickening up like a bluesy type sound. Yep. Give us some overdrive. Right, so both amps. Chorus. A strong effect. Let's turn the turn the depth down even more. And if you turn it off, so what you're hearing there is that really really short delay yeah when you've got the the right turned down the depth turned down like that yeah you get that really short delay if I turn if I keep the right down but I turn depth up that delay gets longer reminds me of Jeff Healy oh yeah right <laughs> Roadhouse, man. Terrible Jeff Healy impression there. Yeah, but that chorus sound, I think, I always, well, we'll come on to it in a sec, but I keep that one on my board pretty much for that sound, mm -hmm. where you just you just knock in a little bit of light. Anyway, tangent. So there we go. Does sound good with Overdrive 2. The C2 Waza. Shall we? Right, so, so. I've got to change guitars. The, now, let's, um. The thing with the CE2 is it's supposed to have the C1 and the CE2 in it. Yeah. Okay. So let's try the um, let's try the CE2 first. So this is in standard mode. Standard mode. Okay. Here we go. C2. 
to was I? Original. Bit more fidelity out of this one, I, I so, think. Yeah, it's a, I think it's a, a bit more. It's just, there's a bit of a boost. Yeah. Volume boost with it. Yeah. Um, I prefer it. The EQ shape. Do you prefer the the wasa? Yeah, I do. Let's have it. Doesn't do. Um, Danish Pete borrowed his three three five for some other things that we're doing. So, thanks, Pete. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. For me, I prefer the original. Do you? I'll show you why. Play a chord. Okay, now I'm going to put the original on top of that. Play a chord again, then put the C2, the was that, on top of that? I don't know, it changes too much for me. It's got, what it, I think it's got is, um, what I was talking about earlier, which where that C2 mid-range is really powerful and punching, mm. depending on what amp you're using. So for me, I quite like mid-rich sounds, mm. so I quite often have a Tube Screamer or Clonny or something on, which is a, a mid-boost. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when you kick the C2 in, it, it was almost too much more of that. Uh, okay. So yeah. horses for courses. And, uh, absolutely. And, and, and that seemed to be a little bit more attack in that one. Yeah. Did you find that? Yeah. Don't forget that the, you know, that C2 Man, so where are we now? 2016. So that's like 36 years old. So that's a proper original Japanese one. Proper is it? original Japanese one. Yeah. Green label. Yeah. Um, so but not not a metal screw, Daniel. I see. No, exactly. <laughs> uh, but the the CE2 now they all sound different. Right. You know because uh, all the values of the resistors, the mm. drift, the capacitors. So you know you can get 10 CE2s and find two that you really like. Um, whereas these will be very consistent. Yeah. You know, and don't get me wrong, it sounds great. You know, but th there's a that seems to get a bit more bottom end out of that one. Yeah. You know, out of, out of the wazza. Out, out of the wazza, and there's a yeah, there's a bit, and the, the attack's a bit sharper. Yeah, the attack is a bit sharper. I yeah. quite like that. All right. Okay. So uh, we know that it sounds similar, but not exactly the same to this particular C two. Exactly. Shall we try the C one? Yeah. So. So presumably that's what that's for, is it? C1 so the middle, mode? So, yep, so the middle position. What's right. the middle position? The middle position is C1. Right, what's the right hand position? That's the vibrato of the C1. Okay. Okay. So, uh, here we go. C1. <laughs>
new one's got more bottom end or is thicker sounding or something. It's got this, yeah. And it doesn't distort like the... <laughs> doesn't distort like the original one. I, I, but for me, that kind of the distortion thing is almost part of the CU1's charm. Okay, it's the, that little preamp circuit in that. Of course, you're not going to want to design a thing that distorts. But there's something about that when you dig in, it goes... Eh, and, and Yeah, it's part of it, it's isn't it? Part, absolutely. It really is. But they've certainly got that thick... Yeah. thing going on. Can we still have a listen between the um, the C, C2 and the C1 modes? Yes. Just to see. That's C2. chop out like I don't know what's it going to be it's going to be 200 to 500 hertz that really kind of um, the swampy bit right the original the original seems to be less prominent there yeah. and there's just this really lovely kind of sparkly fizzy stuff on the yeah. top uh, yeah that see there's <sighs> I'm, God, I'm, I'm really trying not to be a vintage pedal snob, like, honestly. <laughs> it's too late for that. Because <laughs> um, I think it sounds great. It does. I think the way you've got the the C2 and the C1 in there... It's brilliant. ...is killer. It's awesome. and And to me, um, sorry, boss, but that sounds so much better than the, the later C5 and stuff like that, to me. Better, God, shouldn't be using that word, sorry. I, I prefer the sound of that to the... More shimmery. I'm gonna go with better. <laughs> you can, you can be as politically correct as you like. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah, go yeah. with better. It does. It sounds great. It totally. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so glad they've done that. Yeah. Me too. So cool. Me too. Me too. I had a C2. Sold it. Uh, why did I sell it? Literally no idea. But that's pretty cool. That was. If someone gave you an '80s jibe when they saw it on your board. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so we've had a look at the the Wazza. Uh I thought we'd have a quick look at some other, you know, Courses. other pedals are available. Okay, while you're explaining what they are, I'm just going to do a quick... <whistles> okay, so we'll have a quick look at... Um, this is one of my faves of recent years. This is the Analog Man Bike Chorus. Yeah. What I love about this pedal... Oh. Sorry. Shall we... No, the... <laughs> The story of this guitar is, I was uh, demoing it on the Anderson's channel and it's it's one of the, um, uh, what do they call it, electromatic ones, so it's not even like a super expensive one. And I was playing it and I was like, this guitar is awesome, so uh, <coughs> it seems to have made its way. Oops. Um, You've, yeah, okay. Yeah. What, is, what is trying not to say is because your wife watches this video and yes. doesn't want you to yes. know that. But uh, you've yeah. purchased a new guitar, haven't you? It, it seems, he has it, purchased a new guitar. It does seem to be that way. Anyway, there we are. Sorry, move on. Okay, so the Analog Man. So the bi chorus. And what I love about this is you've got two different rate and depth settings. Okay, so if I want to go from just a lovely... Oh, man.
So, I love the sound of it. I love that, that you can switch between those two. Yeah, you've got two. And very, it's full very on cool. analog oh. chorus, isn't it? Can we just listen to it compared to this one a sec? So should we be in C1 or C2 mode for this, do you think? C2. C2 I mode? Say, yep. Okay. It's both amplifiers, so this is the analog man. Closer to the CE1, isn't it? I going to say, to get, the depth, yeah. to, to get the depth going on there. And presumably we've got the analog man just at regular 9 volts at the regular moment. Regular 9 volts. Yeah. Tasty. Very good. And if you, if you stick uh, Dan's preferred 15 volts into the analog man, um, it will sound even deeper and thicker and chewier. Yeah. We've done that before, we're not going to do it here. Yeah. That was in the power video if you're interested. Vic P, Vic P. So that's the analog man. I yeah. also wanted to have a, a quick look at this one. So this is, uh, this is the um, warped vinyl from a Dear Friends over at Chase Bliss Audio. So uh, Joel Corty, he makes this amazing range of pedals and what I love about this pedal is just, it has so many options. So one of the things I love about the pedal is that you can change the waveform, you can change the up and down side of the waveform. Yeah. So for example, so if you want to play. So that's a standard up, but if I, if I make the downside of the, the waveform uh, more dramatic. Or just a different waveform. Totally analog with a tap tempo. Wow, okay, so for everyone, if you just want a normal chorus pedal to use every now and again, <laughs> any of these others, if you're into chorus, yeah, okay. <laughs> Yeah, it's, I, I love it. It also has things like presets on it. And it's, again, this is an analog pedal, yeah. right? So have a play of that. Does it get, um, can you, does it get crunchy? Do, have I got that in my head? So, very, very cool. It has all these little dip switches on the back that you can control with expression pedals and things. It's, it is amazing. We have been asked for a much more in-depth So we're gonna do video that, on yeah. Those. I've, I'm a big fan yeah. of, of those pedals. I dropped um, my I've plectrum. I've got a whole bunch of them, so I'm gonna do a little yeah. thing on okay. those because they, they're just superb. Right. Um, so yeah, so anyway. 
That's the Chase Bus Audio Warp the, Vinyl. The tweakers option. The tweakers option. Yeah, and it's, yeah. yeah, the tweakers will love it. Yeah. The Free the Tone. Yes, so this is this is the chorus that I use, and I use it uh, because it's got these very, as regular viewers will know that I'm not a big fan of programming or loads of knobs or anything like that because my tiny brain can't take it. And that's not because I'm an idiot, it's because I'm usually singing. And so I just need stuff that's gonna work and work simply. And this works for me because it's got these really cool presets, right? So if we get in a preset mode, um, fairly thickish C2 mm -hmm. type. Fairly thickish C2 type chorus. This one is a f is a <coughs> sorry, I'm feeling left out. Oh god. <laughs> So just a bit more, a bit more sickening. Yeah. Probably. Hey. <laughs> Probably a bit more. Probably a bit more. So it's a little bit swampier. And we then, know that was done with the flanger. Yes, I know, I know. You know it just, just reminds me of that. Um, this one I love because it's like a slow. So it's just a thickening. Can you switch it on and off? I just plug, plug, uh, I want to play one thing with that sound. You can do it in a minute. <laughs> And just in case we never get there, the last one is um, that sound. Nice. Wobbly, wobbly, yeah. wobbly, wobbly. Sorry, you said you wanted to have a go. No, I just wanted three. to. That, um, that, one more. That uh, sound just reminded me of. Definitely number three. Okay. Anyway. And of course, you can have any combination of any of those. Um, they're just presets which you can save. Right. If you went into normal mode, you can alter any, um, you know, speed, depth, mix, uh, the level of it, the rate. Um, there's also an EQ control for the high cut. Just play for a sec. The blend, is that, what's that? That's affecting the whole uh, effects. Yeah, yeah, man, that's great. So a bit like the Chase Bliss, but not not exactly the same. You yeah. can you can get in and tweak a little bit more. Plus, yes, it's stereo. We're not doing stereo today, um, and it's also MIDI controllable. So if you were using it with G two, you could program in sounds. Really? And yeah, yeah. So that's that's quite cool. But back to that number three preset mode again. Overdrive, please. <laughs> Oh, 
awesome. I really like it as that thickening. Yeah. As that thickening thing. And I guess that's the thing, isn't it, with, with chorus. There's so many different ways to use it. If you just use it subtly, um, it doesn't have to sound like um, you're a, yeah. a, what do they call it? Um, what's the haircut? New Romantic. Yeah, you know, flock of seagulls yeah, yeah. thing. It doesn't have to be that new it wave. It doesn't have to be that way. New wave, new romantic. Yeah. And you, to be you known know. for all of these things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's just a bunch of different ways to use it, and I think it's a wonderful thing. Uh, so let so we quite often get lambasted on our tube for not including um, more cost-effective options. So Where here is a much more cost-effective option, which is the Angel Wing from Tone City, uh, which of course you can buy from our friends at Anderton's, among other retailers. Oh, no, that's there you It's alright. What's this one in? The C2 mode is in 10. So I'll turn that one off and yep. that one on. That's it. Tell you what, if you, yeah, reasonable, so you've got rate and depth, the same as you would have on a CE2, mm -hmm. um, they're about 8p. If you're just getting into chorus, you're not sure it's for you. It's a no-brainer, isn't it? No-brainer. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, probably, uh, to me, lacked some of the, maybe some of the, it, uh, what I was trying to do when Dan was playing the Gretsch there with the overdrive, it, the, the guitar was sort of easing into feedback with a couple of key frequencies and that seemed to be happening with the with the the big boss and the little boss a little easier than it was with the angel wing but that's you know that's just eq settings on your amp and all the rest of it yeah no very good yeah 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 for the money crazy 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 yeah so uh, so results then on the the boss was a 
I like it. I like its increased fidelity. Okay. Um, I think I prefer it over the vintage CE2, but okay. you probably don't. Um, they're, they're different, but all the CE2s are different. Yeah. That's all. Um, I prefer the CE1, but not because of the way it sounds. It sounds fantastic. I just like that little bit of grind that the preamp in the CE1 gives. Yeah, I, think I was no, really noticing that when switching between them. There was yeah. kind of an edge or something, which was really nice. Yeah, that, and that's the thing about the CE1. Yeah. But I think they've done a spectacular job. Yep, yep, yep. So uh, remaining on your pedal board, presumably, is the Analog Man. Yeah. Because of the two options. I just, I love... I love the sound of it. Mm. I love that you can switch between those two options, and that's all I need, really. Um, I use the the, uh, the Chase Bliss when I'm recording. I'm just looking for a weird, yep. crazy sound. Um, I love that. But I tell you what, that the free the tone thing, I'm very impressed with. Yeah. Very impressive. I I, I use it because of the, well, a because it sounds good, but b because of the presets. Yeah, I love, that's great. So. Yeah, yeah presets, are, presets can be a great thing. Especially when you're not, because I'm not, as I said before, you know, having enough brain space to get down there and tweak something mid-set and I'm kind of trying to remember the words and all of that just of course. doesn't work for me. Yeah. Plus, of course, when all the knobs get banged about in the, in the pedal board case, it's fine. Presets are in there. Yeah. doesn't matter what you do to the knobs. Yeah, very good. So that works for me. But, yeah. Brilliant. Okay, guys. Well, listen, before we go... Yep. We just want to say uh, thank you to everyone that has gone on to our website and bought a t-shirt. Rather fetching that they are. So that uh, website is thatpedalshowstore.com if you want to grab a t-shirt. And also a massive thank you to everyone that's gone onto our Patreon site yes. and donated. That's been amazing. Patreon, crowdfunding for creatives. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. So really, really grateful, guys. It's, it, that mm -hmm. helps us keep doing what we're doing. So that's fantastic. And finally, everyone who came out to the Denmark guitar oh, yeah, show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were uh, we did that pedal show live um, at the Denmark guitar show uh, last weekend, and it was just brilliant. We had the best time. Um, if uh, if you're able to get to that guitar show next year, go because it is. Hands down, one of the best guitar shows I've ever been to. Copenhagen Guitar Show. Copenhagen Guitar Show. Yeah, yeah. Just uh, brilliant. And finally, 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 um, please check out our exclusive preferred retailers in the USA, that is Rift City Music, and in the UK and Europe, that is Anderton's Music in Guildford. Perfect. Handsome fellas they are too. Uh, very handsome. All right. Cheers, guys. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>